Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today we are going to talk about proteins and here's a question, what is a hydrogen bounding pattern within an alpha helix? If you watch my few previous videos, you would be able easily answer this question and here's the alpha helix. Looking at this picture, it is hard to say which amino acid makes hydrogen bonding with which amino acid downstream of this helix. But here's another picture which show you the same alpha helix but stretched. Every polypeptide start with N terminus and ends with C terminus. So we can say that this amino acid begins here and ends here. Now with the green color let me show you our groups with alpha carbon. So it would be easier for us to count how many amino acids we have here. So this is going to be the second one, this is going to be the third one, this is going to be the fourth and this is going to be the fifth. With I here we designate the first amino acid, then second would be I plus one and third is going to be I plus two and the fourth is going to be I plus three and the fifth is going to be I plus four. Again one two, three, four and five. And as you see, according to this diagram, carboxyl group of the first amino acid makes hydrogen bond with amino group of the fifth amino acid. Carboxyl group of each amino acid is slightly negatively charged and amino group of each amino acid is slightly positively charged. So that's why they make this hydrogen bond between them and you may also ask why for example this carboxyl group is not going to make such hydrogen bond for example with this amino group which is much closer to it. Take a look at this helix and you see that our groups that is close to each other actually facing different ways and five amino acids downstream these are groups facing each other and just uh, on top of each other. According to this picture, for example, amino acid number two, its carboxyl group is going to make hydrogen bond with amino acid four amino acids downstream. So with the amino group of the sixth amino acid. And this pattern of hydrogen bonding will continue with each next amino acid it's going to make a hydrogen bonding with amino acid four amino acids down the amino acid sequence and those amino acids that is going to be in the middle they are going to make two hydrogen bonds one with amino acids four residues down the stream and another with four residues up the stream because each amino acid has carboxylic group and amino group. Only first four amino acids are going to make only single hydrogen bond and the last four amino acids also going to make single hydrogen bond but the rest in the middle of this helix is going to make two hydrogen bonds. Now we can choose the correct answer and this is going to be answer A, the lone pair of carboxyl residue I to the hydrogen in the amino group of the residue for amino acids down the stream. Or we also can say this is going to be fifth amino acid. Another way to say between the first and the fifth is going to be three amino acids in between. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.